Architectural beauty or an insult to Sydney? The final designs for James Packer's proposed casino hotel at Barangaroo have been revealed to mixed reaction. The building is no longer over the water, but it does appear a lot taller. Adrian Rochella takes a look. It will showcase the best of Sydney, world class in every dimension. And Lend Lease and James Packer say they now have the best design for Crown Sydney. One, a leaning tower representing life with an edge, another more sculptural form inspired by twisting petals, and a skyscraper with its aesthetic rooted in the marine environment, a design drawing on the shape of shells and mollusks. I think that they are iconic, uh, the three of them, some more so than others. The, the three solutions show a much more curvaceous, flowing, fluid sort of form to buildings. An international design competition was held with the three finalists behind some of the most well-known buildings, including the world's tallest in Dubai. No one from Lend Lease or James Packer's camp would be interviewed, but all of the new proposals are now on land, after the controversial hotel over the harbour was scrapped. The Urban Task Force says the winning design must stand out from the other office towers like the star of a show. A bit like, say, an opera singer with the orchestra, uh, or a singer like Mick Jagger with the Rolling Stones behind, uh, is what this building is doing. But critics of the old plan are also unhappy with this change in direction. While we still don't know how tall the new tower will be, they say it appears to dramatically breach the height limit of the master plan. What came to mind was uh, this is adding insult to injury. We didn't like the hotel in the water and I think most of Sydney thought it was an intrusion into the harbour. Uh, but that doesn't justify going up, doubling the height just because it's taken out of the harbour. Whatever goes up, we're all going to have to learn to live with. Adrian Rochella, ABC News, Sydney.